let's take a look at states. So next to the timeline, we have this button here that says states, or is heading, I should say. Um, there's nothing in there. That's because a state is associated with an object. So I clicked on this image here, and we have states, and that's the normal image of it. You've got different ones, you've got normal or hidden. I'm going to insert shape. Let's put a square in here. So click on that one now. And again, we've got states, normal or hidden. So if I do hidden, I'll preview this slide. You can see that the square is not there. It is hidden. So state is what's happening with that object at that point in time. Is it is it hidden? Is it normal? But you've got more options than that. If you select the, the object, you go to edit states. And then you click on this button here, which is new state. You've then got options. Hover, down, visited, selected, disabled. And if it's a drag and drop related thing, you've got drag over, drop correct or drop incorrect. So if I select hover, add, what you can then do, you need to select the hover option here and then you make changes to it. So if someone's gonna hover their mouse over it, what do you want to happen? Well, if someone hovers the mouse over it, I want it to turn blue. So it would normally be in the normal state, but if someone hovers the mouse over it, it goes blue. Once you've done that, go to done editing states. We'll now preview this. So you can see it's that kind of a you know, turquoisey light blue color. Hover over it, it goes blue. So that's the state being affected. So you need to know about states because if you inserted the button, buttons already have states defined in them. So again, I was in the timeline, go into states, and you've got all these ones here. So disabled, hover, normal, and so forth. Menus will also have states on them. So if I go into a menu, let's have a look here. There's nothing associated with that. But if you click onto the, into the different layers, you can see the different states here. So normally if it's been visited, there we go, here's an example. If it's been visited, it will have changed the color to show that the, to show the user that they've visited that one already. When you're editing states though, you just got to remember it's going to be editing it just for this part of it. You get to edit it, choose the thing you want to edit, format it, and then in this case, I'll turn it blue, done editing states. And you can now see it's, it's varied. You can do other things though. So if I go back to the slide I was just on. So I showed it where I was just, let's go for this object here. I showed it where I was just having the hover state of that. So you could get a lot more complex than that. So I've double clicked on it. I'm just editing it now. I've got it blue, but let's insert a icon as well. There you go, put that in there. Um, and I could also insert something else entirely. Okay, so what's going to happen? I've got this icon on there and I've added these two boxes in. Let's change this box to a different color just to make it stand out. So this is now the hover state. So when I hover over this box, it's gonna bring in this icon, it's gonna bring in this object here, it's gonna bring in this object here. Done editing states. Preview this. Hover, there we go. You see the changes there. Now it doesn't look very good. It looks terrible what I've created, but you get the idea. It doesn't just have to be the one object that just changes, you could so essentially you're changing the screen. You know? So as a result of me hovering over this object, what do you want to happen? I want the state to change and the state being the object changing color and this icon coming in and those two boxes as well. So that is how you deal with states. Now it can get, I won't say complex, but you can go through, through lots of layers of it. If you are gonna have, I'll go back to the, uh, the main menu. If you are going to have it, so that in this case, yeah, the button changes color to blue visited. 
what I recommend you do is come up with the idea as to what you want to happen in the first place and then when you create all these other boxes then you just copy and paste it and edit the information in there. If you don't do this, so in this situation I've got it, so if I go to one of these other objects, the visitor state is this dark green, if I think well now I want it to be that blue that we saw in the first one, I'll have to go to visited, edit states, and then I'll have to you know, fill the color shape in, done editing shapes, you know, I've done it for the wrong one, I've done it for normal, should have visited, so I'd undo all that, but you get the idea. Then I have to do it for the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. It's easier to come up with the concept first and then replicate it across the other menu options that you want to have.